Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Nelson, you're watching Nature Nell, and if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Today is a really good show, so you stopped at the right place because <laughs> I got some things that I want to show you in my greenhouse, some amazing bloop. He keeps pushing me. <laughs> Sorry guys. He knows, he knows when I'm about to start filming. This is Morris, for you guys who don't know uh, Morris. And he has gotten a little bit hammy with the camera. And as soon as he sees the camera, he knows there's something about to happen. And he starts bumping me with his head. So I have like a little, uh, an area where I put my uh, bonsais. And he gets up on there and he starts pushing me to pay attention to him. So, <laughs> gotta give him his 15 minutes of fame. All right, Baba, that's it. Let me finish this, this program. So anyways. <laughs> I know some of you send him his hellos, and I do tell him actually. So anyways, guys, I have some uh, information to give you guys in the very end. I'm not going to do it now because I'd rather you guys see the flowers. And for you you guys that are just tuning in that are new to my channel, I want to go just straight, straight into the flowers. Now, there's a lot of things in spike but not blooming yet. So I just want to show you what's going on in the greenhouse more than a what's in bloom type of thing. But you're going to get a what's in bloom. So without further ado let's go look at some great things all right guys let's start here where i usually like to start in my what's in bloom segments um i just want to show you uh, a far view of where i have all my mounts just so you can see how everything has grown up for you guys have been following me for a while you've been seeing the progress of this area and even laz came here the other day we, i I mean, summer for us is very difficult to, to do things together sometimes. And he hadn't been here in a while. And he was amazed. He was like, wow, this has really grown in a lot. And I don't notice it because I'm here every day. But, you know, when I go back on my videos, that's when I realize, wow, you know, it, it really has grown a lot. So I wanted to show you guys how beautiful when I decided to mount all these orchids uh, using different types of mediums and different types of woods. Most of these wood pieces come from the orchid supply store. Um, some I've gathered from like the wild. <laughs> and if you are gonna catch something, a uh, piece of wood that you see on the floor, please don't, don't start yanking branches. Do not do that because some of my viewers are telling me, oh, I get it out in the wild and I'm, I'm cringing when I hear that because I hope they're using good practice and ethical practice on the planet and they're not just cutting branches just to get mounts. Okay, please don't do that. If you see like driftwood or that's what I, I, I grab wood from my yard. But uh, if you see driftwood or you do happen to have a big yard, that's fine. Just make sure you clean it really well. And uh, I like to put it out in the sun full day for several days to let that wood really like age and, and get all dried up. So anyways, now that I gave you my 101 on mounting, <laughs> I just want to show you an overall of how it's looking and I'm, I'm really happy with it. Here, let me do, I'm going to do wide angle only because I think you get a better perspective. I just have to go a little slower so you don't get dizzy. And then right here, I have this, I always forget the name of this. I will write it down. <laughs> in my editing but look it's been giving me flower after flower after flower and i got this at fairchild tropical gardens if you go back to my very either first or second video it was a three day at fairchild's i showcased this very briefly at sorua and right after that video i bought it so that tiny plant that you're going to see in that video is this right now it's like tripled in size and it's only been like a year and maybe three months since I started my channel. So it's really beautiful in here. Let me give you an up close. Now this is a hybrid. And if I recall, I'm gonna to try to get it from the top of my head. I'm sure when I edit it, you know, I'm gonna be like, probably like, oh no. I definitely know it's uh, Brasavala nodosa crossed with lime sherbet, I think, or lime star. It's one of those names, and I believe that that hybrid creates the name Lime Sherbert or Lime Star or something like that. So, anyways, still blooming my beautiful Florida rainbow gift from from Laz. It's amazing, you know. It's just how how these these flowers just maintain their beauty for so long. I mean, this these two flowers have been open for a while. I've showcased them already, like in three or four videos. So these, uh, this Florida, for you new viewers that haven't seen this, because sometimes I assume that everybody has seen this, that is the name. And I got this 
at good old Crawl Smith Orchids. And I literally got it there at the, at the place. They had an open house and uh, it was my birthday weekend. And this was Laz's gift to me. It's so beautiful, I love this fowl. So anyways, I did more mounting. I wanted to show you guys this weekend. I had a bunch of dendrobiums that were just not doing well in pots. They were just doing well enough to survive, but that's not good enough for me. You know, I believe a healthy orchid should be growing constantly and profusely. And so I moved all these into the some of the new mounts that I got from the orchid supply store to see how well they fare on these on these pieces of uh, of wood. Because I know dendrobiums love to be mounted on wood and so do any Brasavala species like this one, which is all on its way out. It's a Brasavala cross with a Cattleya shiliriana. So Brasavala nodosa cross with Cattleya shiliriana. Here, let me get on this side. Oh, there's Lewis. We have a Lewis sighting. There he goes. It's Bigfoot. There's a sighting. <laughs> All right. I know you guys ask, what is Lewis going to show up? But he's always busy. So you only see sightings of him. All right. So anyways, I covered this. Let me see. Oh. You know what? Let me cut it off here. Let me get back. I need to, to get something. All right, guys. I'm sorry. It's just that I, I wanted to bring some things into the green room to show you guys. But there's so much I want to tell you today. I'm out of breath from running back and forth. So anyways, I'll explain to you later what it was. So anyways, here I have more of my mounts, more of my minis that are doing really, really good. Especially this one's doing great. Look at this. It's grown so much since I got, I got this at the, um, hold on. That's what it's called. If you guys want to look it up. And I got it at Equajeneda at the Crawl Smith show. And um, I fell in love with it. I, I saw it online, not through them, but through uh, another uh, orchid guy from Germany. I can't remember his name now. I don't remember off the top of my head. And he showcased it, and I was like, I want one. Now, this is my Doritis Pulsharima Red. I showcased one flower recently because it was the only thing that was open. But look, she's already almost fully open and you know what's great about this that they after these die off it continues the tip continues releasing like one or two flowers for a very long time so this is one of those orchids that blooms for a very very long period so if you guys want one of one of these um lady vanda has them online this is who i bought it from and i have other pulsharimas but i didn't have this one this one's like a very intense fuchsia, even though it's called red. All right. This is one of the things I wanted to show you. I am experimenting with one of the uh, mounts that, um, that I got from Ken. By the way, Ken is the owner of the orchid supply store. And this is a catacetum that the leaves are already starting to go. Um, it wasn't doing too well to begin with. So I pulled it apart and I put moss, like spag moss in it. And I use the same screen that I use here in my uh, in my green room. Is I have extra pieces in there. I used it on this just to hold the moss and give it enough air to dry out and not be overly saturated with water. So, anyways, it's an experiment I'm trying. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but just want to share it with you guys because um, we'll see where this goes. <laughs> Let's see. It hasn't bloomed so. And it has a beautiful flower. Now here, I don't know that I, I know this as the Holy Ghost orchid. And I was told that it's very difficult to get to bloom. I didn't know. Um, I got this from Sierra Madre. And it's a beautiful plant. By the way, guys, they don't really like to be fed that much. Look what happens when you feed them too much. Oh, no. Lewis is working in the shack. Sorry, guys. All right, so so I stopped feeding it. And I'm only doing it once a month, a full dosage, once a month. That's it, of 2020. But look how beautiful. It gave me a gorgeous spike. 
and each one of these little crowns is um is a flower and i will put an inset of what the flower looks like it's a beautiful beautiful flower it's very rare uh, i have the tag here it's just that it's worn out and i can't read it see Presteria alata. Presteria alata. I guess that's it. Um, it's funny when you learn just the, the street name or the, the common name, like Holy Ghost Flower or Holy Ghost Orchid, <laughs> then you don't really learn the Latin word because it's much easier <laughs> or the Latin name. Now, these, everything you see here in the center, this is what I wanted to bring. Everything you see here was over at my Vanda section in my garden uh if you go back some of my videos where i show i like two videos ago i show you my vandaliers and my section where i keep my vandas everything you see here it's because it's already in spike see they have new spikes so i bring them in immediately so they don't get any type of thrifts or in here in the screen room it protects them a lot believe it or not i'm more exciting wherever i'm at he's right around <laughs> Now, this one is a Paphiopetalum that I bought. It was not tagged, but I do have the name. I will find it and put it underneath. Um, I, by the way, guys, I'm buying a tag machine. Uh, my good friend, Gabriela, sent me some information uh, on a tag machine. I will put an inset right here next uh, to the path right now so you guys can see because there's so much information I wanted to share I'm going to just share it in while I'm showing you my flowers so this machine you can get on Amazon it's a brother's uh, label printer and you can order the the cartridges and uh, and uh, I call them belt tags because they tie like a belt so they're super super easy so anyways guys if you're looking for a good printer she told me that I haven't used it but she told me this is a really good one and so once I get it, <laughs> I'm just being, I'm I have so many other things I have to get. I will start tagging everything appropriately. It's just that here, the wind and everything, the tags get lost or the water, they just wear out. So I'm gonna go pro. So then this is a patio petal I bought at Ophi's because Ophi's orchid and supplies also, as it says, orchids and supply, they do have orchids. Um, and I got this a while back and one of their brothers, he's the one that's, Oh no! Sorry guys. And he even has the door closed. Sorry. Um, he's a, a Paphiopetalum guy. You know, he has a bunch of them and he's the one that sells them. That's their younger brother. I, I can't remember his name right now. So anyways, this one gives me flowers every season. And it's grown so beautifully. I mean, so healthy. All my Paphiopetalums are doing really good. Look at this. I mean, the leaves are just... And yes, I am bragging. <laughs> I get bragging rights because it's a lot of work, you know, to keep your plants, you know, this green. And if I'm going to use that slogan, I have to put my money where my mouth is and keep it green. <laughs> so anyways, these are all um, new spikes that I'm getting. This one has a new spike, which is one of my favorite. It's the happiness. Let me see the tag. Here's the tag. It's the Vanda Atisac Happiness. And this one has a beautiful flower. I've been waiting for this one for a while. And it was touch and go because it did get some weird fungus here, but I got I was able to stop it on time. Uh, the rains here really destroyed a lot of our, our landscaping and the, the hard winds in this area. So I'm lucky to have this greenhouse because it protects it a lot. Now this is the... I always showcase her because she is always in bloom. And I tell you guys, if you want a species that constantly blooms, this is the one. It's the Vanda, <laughs> Vanda Marie. <laughs> I always say it wrong. Vanda, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I'm on, when I'm on Zoom like that, it doesn't focus. Okay, let me not touch it. Vanda Marie. Marie. So anyways, that one is a species that blooms continuously so i hardly ever take her out of my my green room you know once they stop blooming i, I take them out now this is a pack sorn i got this at Carl smith let me get you the let me show you first the flower and then i'll get you the tag all right and by the way i thought that my phone was the only one that had the focus problems i noticed a lot of uh youtubers that i know that bought the, th the 13 had the same focal 
um, situation. But it does have an amazing night vision lens that I discovered how to, you know, how to use here. And I will share those photos in the very, very end. If you guys like, like me to, I will, well, I'm going to share them anyway. So <laughs> sometimes I feel like I'm talking to you guys live. Um, I get so into this, I forget. Let me get to the tag. This makes it so much easier for me in the end. Papillonans. Paxorn fragrance. There it is. That first name I never remember. Papillonad. Almost sounds like papillon. Butterfly in French. <laughs> so this flower, oh my god, does it smell good. It's I I know it has um Mimi Palmer in it, but I forgot what the other one is. It's not Tessalata, because that's what uh, I have one here that's a Mimi Palmer Tessalata and the flowers are different. But look at that how gorgeous it is. Look at the colors. It's just, I really, really love this one. This is one of Carl Smith's um, faves because I always see them out there in the fairs and they're very, very popular. People gravitate to these a lot and they're very well priced too. Now this one, it's starting now to lose some flowers. I got this one at uh, the Redland show and we got it from moats and it was one of those specials where they were like ten dollars because they had no tags they lost the tags they didn't know what they were so i took it and it gave me this gorgeous gorgeous flower this is about five years old this panda it was a lot tinier than this it was like about that much <laughs> and look it's grown so much and it kind of curved because i think they cut it from a specimen so it's kind of like it had a weird shape so it kind of just I did it, I put it upside down and it curved its way back up. It was so weird, but I love the shape. Then right next to it is another one. Actually, no, this is from, I know Carl Smith uh, carries these, but this one is from RF. This is a Sasicha. Hold on. Where is the tag? Let me make sure. Yeah, RF, see? It's a Tessalata with a Vanca, uh, Vanca Stylus Sasicha. And I love this flower. It's so pretty. Laz just bought one that is spectacular. It's, I think, twice the size of this one. I got it from Carl Smith. And I got this a while back at RF, and it was like one of those unknown flowers that not many people knew about. And I just love the color so much that I said, you know what? I'm going to take you home with me. You have a beautiful violet because it is a very pretty violet. Let me see, I'm trying to get a good, because this is a, I started videotaping this early today and it's already almost noon and this is the worst lighting for it. But we do with what we have and I want to get you guys a video out there because I haven't done much lately, I've been so busy. Now this one is the Pul Pulitz Prize, Pulitz Prize. I will put the thing, in, uh, again, this one never had a tag. I bought this at Santini Orchids and it's a Vanda Constylus, I think. And it's a mix of a Vanda with Rick and Stylus and it smells, let me see. Right now it's not smelling, I don't know why, but it has a very good fragrance. But the color guys, look at that, how beautiful it is. It has that yellow and then it's, it's cranberry-ish. It's just very pretty. And I paid $25 for this. No tag, nothing. I just took a, a chance on it. I, I love getting surprises. And when it came out, I was like, ah, that's a gorgeous flower. All right, let me get down from the chair. <laughs> oh my God, I feel like I'm in a jungle. So anyways, I wanted to show you all my new hanging mounts. These, This is how I've been hanging them now. I decided to step outside the box and instead of hanging them on a wall, I hang them like a plate. See, and I gotta tell you, I don't know what it is about these mounts, but as soon as I put them on, they start spiking. I mean, look at that. I just put this on there literally a month ago. I am not lying, a month ago, I put it there. And it's like, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> this one, I just did this one. This is a Jaiho Queen uh, Jaiho on Sidium. And it releases a beautiful, beautiful flower. Look, I put him to sleep. <laughs> oh, 
So anyways, she's kind of like taking a little break, but she still has a lot. I mean, my, my queen, the green flash, this one I always showcase her because she's always giving flowers. And when my, my green room is, is lacking blooms, she's always one to come through. And so, but she has a bunch of new spikes here. Eh? So I now see new ones there, little tiny one there. She's always shooting a spike somewhere. Here, there, everywhere. Oh, McDonald's had a dendrobium. God, that was corny. <laughs> it is early and I ain't editing it out. <laughs> All right, this one again is giving me spikes. This is that, the one that I, that I say looks like popcorn, <laughs> the Oncidium. It has a very long name. I'm not even going to show it, put that name now because it's irrelevant. She's not blooming yet. So this one is still blooming for me. Oh, my Zoom is not working. What happened? Hold on, let me stop this. All right there we go it takes him a little time to figure it out i just can't move it too much so this is my neo stylus i know the tag is somewhere here it is oh no neo stylus lou sneery bangyong and this one smells like cookies oh my god this smells so good ah oh, good she focused yay let me not move too much and this one smells like cookies and it's a gorgeous i don't know why it says i i thought it was an alba you know because it, it, it's very close to being all white it just has that tiny little vel violety on the lip but it's almost white guys it's beautiful and it smells so so good and the flower lasts a long time because i've been showcasing her in the past few videos too now the one right next to it I just did some night shots of this and let me tell you it is gorgeous I couldn't believe how I don't even oh, Lewis sorry guys he's doing stuff in the workshop I didn't know he was gonna be doing that but anyways and today he's his, his day to go to work so he's not gonna be here all day so uh, let me just bear with it and I have to speak low because the dog next door the other dog now my other neighbor's got a little dog and when he hears me he starts yapping away ah <sighs> the things I do to make these videos you have no idea so anyway this one is a beautiful 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 orchid that I got from Carl Smith as well there's a name if only iPhone would like to focus there you go thank you <laughs> Oh, it's one of those days. So anyways, um, this one has a really pretty color. It has a color that I love, the yellow and cranberry. It's just so awesome. And it smells really good too. Now, let me see which one else I have here. I already covered the Neo Stylus. Let me see. Oh, did I cover this one? Yes, we did. I'm sorry, see when I get distracted, I forget what I covered. That's why I like to just keep going and not stopping. So anyways, I think I've shown you everything that's in here, pretty much, yep. Good, we're doing good, all right. Now, check out this beautiful bonsai. Now, for you guys that have been following me, if you think back a couple of months ago, like four months, I did a video on on this dirt that I ordered that I got from the orchid supply store. It was dirt and compost. So I was experimenting with it and I did almost like a lasagna. I layered it. And let me tell you, sometimes experimenting is a great thing because look how beautiful this this bougainvillea got. And if you look at the video, you'll see that it looked nothing like this. It was just it was a lot less and had no very little flowers. I think it had like one or two flowers. I don't, I don't remember well, but it did not look like this. But look how gorgeous that is. So if you guys do um, any type of potting or or gardening um, projects, check out the orchid supply store. Their soil and compost section. It's really really good. I I got to tell you, I, I've tried it already in different things, and the results are amazing. And then the flowers and everything, they just, they pop. And I think that's due to the compost. All right. Now, I want to show you this beauty here that was dying on me. 
And I decided to give it one last chance as I normally do. Once I see that there's hardly anything better, <laughs> I put them on a tree. And look at what she did. She came back. And what I did was I just put a bed of spag moss, stuck her on there, and I feed her every week. I feed her uh, 20, 20, 20, ha uh, half a teaspoon a gallon. Oh no. There we go. I, one of the lenses doesn't focus. I realize what it is. If you want to focus it, you have to go to the far lens and then just go close to it. <laughs> At least that's how mine works. So um, it gave me these two beautiful Encyclia flowers and they smell like chocolate. Now the tag over there, it's worn out. They're, I can't even read it. Like I told you guys, the tags here, they suffer. Um, oh no, hold on. So this uh, Encyclia looks very much like the one that I have in my green room that also has a chocolatey smell, but this one just has a very intense, let me see if I can use this lens too very intense chocolate smell let me see all right you guys are my witness this camera does not focus <laughs> it really doesn't oh my god and all the money i paid for this hold on oh, forget it you know what i'm not even going to keep trying it's going to frustrate me and it's not going to be worth it all right so sorry guys i want to give you a close-up but the camera it's not allowing it so this is it moving on <laughs> <sighs> the struggle is for real. I'm all actually thinking about getting my old phone and using that as my camera. All right, so here is my Hoya, and my Hoya is giving me these beautiful flowers this season. It has bloomed for me a lot. Now, Hoyas, for you guys who don't know, bloom from the same, it's almost like a sequential bloomer, or maybe. It is a sequential bloomer. It'll bloom from the same peduncle. These are called peduncles. And again, no focus. Uh, those are called peduncles. What's right back there? I'm afraid to even touch it and throw it out of focus. Um, and from there, every blooming cycle, it does a ring. So it ends up looking like this. So each of those little rings that you see is a blooming cycle. So that means that this one has bloomed many, 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 many times. So when you look at a, see, and here's one that's about to start blooming. You see the little green tip? Well, that little green tip starts turning into these little stars, star looking things, and then they become that. It's adorable. And this is a Hoya Mendoriensis gold. I got this at Soroa orchids here in miami florida they're right off of chrome avenue and uh they have wonderful hoyas and orchids there so if you guys are in the area pay them a visit and they're near most of the orchid places here in miami which is rf orchids uh a heavenly garden bang yong orchids uh santony there's a lot down here i mean we're, we're kind of spoiled in this area and this is where i keep all my exotic plants I keep my my uh, pitcher plant. This is a, the large pitcher plant. It's it almost died on me, and I brought it back in here. And again, I used a compost soil. People were telling me, "Oh, be careful when you repot it because you can kill it." Well, you know what? Here, I'm going to show you. I'm sorry for the mess. This is what I'm using. It is amazing, and. And this one. So I mix them, even though they're this, they're both compost. I just mix them sometimes to see what happens. Is that I want to see? Oh, and here's the other one. I was trying to remember what it was called. Soil prep, screen fine soil prep pep. So, anyways, I use these three. I use a lot. I mean, it's it's almost it's almost empty. But see. Those, those are my go-to. Now, I don't use them so much as I use my other stuff. And this is all my Vanda stuff. Because, honestly, I don't repot um, that much. Um, my plants, they um, I repot them once every maybe two years. It's not something that I do a lot of. So, um, and I have potting soil here that I get from 
local nurseries, that's really, really good. But when I want to do something like for my exotics or something for something, uh, something for something. Whew, sorry, I'm, going, I'm trying to go so fast. Um, when I'm trying to do um, something special like a bonsai or something, like, I do like to use this kind of soil because it's premium soil. You know you're going to get rich nutrients in there. Anything that the plant needs is going to be in that soil, you know, for quite a long time. All right, everybody, that is the end of today's episode, but not so quick. I did promise I had some things to tell you guys and I left it for last because I know a lot of you guys that are just starting to watch or you just want, really want to see the plants or the blooms. I get it. That's that's cool. But a lot of you do like to know all this information as far as the orchid shows and some recognitions. So what I'm going to start doing is doing it at the end of the show. So that way, if you don't really care for it, you can end it right here or you can stick by to find out some great information like this weekend which is July, I believe July 16th and 17th. Um, Ophi's Orchid and Supply is gonna be holding, right there. <clears throat> They'll be holding uh, their orchid festivals. They actually decided to do one this July. And of course, my buddies, Carl Smith will be there. So I'm excited to see what they have. But like I said, I'm not shopping anymore. I really want to focus more on filming. I think I get um, I get more out of it and I get to talk to the vendors a little bit more and get some informa valid information and good information that you guys can uh, learn from. So I think that's really more important than me just shopping all the time, even though I, I love to shop, but <laughs> but um, I need to like find a good balance. And I think right now in the last shows that I did that I didn't know shopping, it was actually very, very relaxing. So come on down, come to Miami, to the Redlands and check out the show. It's always great. They always have amazing vendors. We're kind of a little jaded and spoiled because we get it all the time. But when you really look at the names, these are very reputable names that, you know, they, they just have really good quality orchids and you don't get to see that all the time. So if you're down here, I encourage you go to the, go to the fair. It's very, it's very, it's a good um, Sunday afternoon pastime. That's how I see it. I love to go and just talk to people and talk to you guys. That's my favorite part, <laughs> meeting you guys, believe it or not. So anyways, I wanted to get that in there. And I also want to say there is a YouTuber. Sorry, there's things in the air. It's very windy today. There's a YouTuber that I've been watching lately. She also covers orchids. It's called Orchids in Paradise, I believe. <laughs> Again, I'm so bad with names. I did start to I just started watching her. I know she watches me and um, I got so captivated from the last video I was watching because she was she's from Hawaii and she does she doesn't just show you the orchids, she shows you the typography around it and oh my god, like I have to go to Hawaii right now. <laughs> the mountains are beautiful. It's not like I've never seen Hawaii in, in movies and stuff, but it's just the way that she featured it in her in her videos just felt so raw like if I was there and I was like oh my god I have to go visit that place it's just and then the nurseries are beautiful the flowers and some of those orchids are like check her out I'll put her um her information check her out but what I wanted to share actually was these images she has pathoglottons which I don't know why they don't do well with me I tried everything here they just get a lot of like fungus the leaves get rotted I tried everything. I tried not watering. I tried watering. I tried putting them in the sun. I tried semi-sun. I tried semi-shade. It's. I've tried everything, and it's like it's so hard. But hers are like on a whole other level. She has them on full sun. So I wanted to share these pics because she shared them with me, and I thought they were gorgeous. I'm like those spikes are like massive. So congratulations on keeping those very good, very uh, healthy because. I have had no luck with that. I'm still trying, but I'm not giving up. I have a bunch lined up right here. I don't know if you can, let me see. See that right there? Right there, that whole line, those are all spathoglottis. So they're starting to bloom and they're doing good. I'm not saying that they're doing horrible. I just, and they're getting sun, you know, like semi-sun, semi-shade, as I was told. Uh, but not like hers, hers are amazing. So kudos to you for doing that. Now, what else did I need to do? There were several different people, but I always forget, guys. I think of this when I'm in the greenhouse, and I say, oh, yeah, I got to talk about this, and I got to talk about that. But 
once I start filming, it's like I my brain goes into scrambled eggs. <laughs> Everything is mixed in there. So uh, I have that, the Ophis, the recognition. Also, oh, of course, I've had several people, when I started this channel, um, shortly after I've been uh, approached by different vendors uh, and different merchants that want me to promote their products. But like I told you guys before, I will never promote something that I'm not gonna use myself, nor will I promote something just because they're giving it to me for free. So recently I have gotten a couple of things that I'm very intrigued about and I am sealing the deal with them and I'm sharing it with you guys because you're that important to me. You guys are, you are who made my, my channel. So. I want to share this with you and the best part about it is that we're both going to benefit from this <laughs> in, a, in some way. Um, one of them is Quick Tent and Quick Tent reached out to me uh, in reference to trying out their product and they want to send me one of their greenhouses that are fairly big and I've been looking into putting a green, another greenhouse anyway so it was perfect timing and they wanted to extend that offer to my viewers and offer them not only a discount I believe, I, I can't remember on them trying to remember exactly if you buy from them, but I'm mixing apples and oranges. What they did for sure tell me is that they will give me a quick tent um, greenhouse to give away to my viewers. So one of you is gonna be the lucky winner of a greenhouse. Now, it's not gonna be massive greenhouse, <laughs> but it'll be something that you can build. And I told them, give me something. Hi, Morris, Morris is back. Give me something that is, um, reachable to you know a broader audience because not everybody has property like this or a big house you know a lot of you have your balconies or live in apartments so i wanted something that maybe you can build you know and and yourself and it's not that difficult but once everything is solidified and everything is for sure for sure i will give you guys all the information i'm just so excited i wanted to share it right away and I have another company has been reaching out to me. Uh, I've been thinking about putting security cameras in my greenhouse because we have security cameras here everywhere. I mean, there's like Fort Knox, <laughs> even though we're in the middle of nowhere. But anyway, my partner, he's a he's a techie guy. So he puts cameras everywhere. <laughs> I don't even know where there's sometimes I look, oh, there's a camera there, <laughs> but I don't have one inside my greenhouse, which is a necessity. And I'm looking at this company that has these cameras that are solar powered and I think I think I, I, I may go for it. I'm, I'm looking more into it, but I, I like what I'm reading. And like I said, I don't want to just say yes and not research it. So if I'm going to refer it to you guys is because I've done my research, I've used it, and then I'm going to give you guys my review. The same way as if it's not a good product, which I pray that it, it's a good product, I will tell you it's not a good product for me. So those are the two things I have lined up. So I can't wait for all this to become a project. I know that the quick tent is going to happen very soon because I just uh, we just closed a deal today, as a matter of fact. And so uh, they're going to be sending me the, the products very soon. All right, guys, I don't think I can keep you here any longer. I'm going to bore you to death if I haven't already. <laughs> so thank you for watching this long episode. Uh, I will be putting more and more because now that the spikes are coming out, the fall is going to come in soon in, in September, October. So that's when everything starts really blooming really nicely again here in Miami because we get a cooler, cooler weather. All right. So thus the tank top and the sweat. <laughs> All right, guys, I am out of here. I am Nelson. You're watching Nature Now. And remember to always, always keep it green. See you next time. Come here, Morris. Come on, let's go, buddy. I chatted too much today. Let's go, my boy.